So we're still gonna factor trinomials, but this time the a value, this leading term, is not equal to one. So we, have, we can't just say x and x. We've gotta consider this four x squared along with the three. And here's how we do that. There are a lot of different methods. I'm gonna go with guess and check because I think that's the most efficient method. When you practice a lot, you get better and better at your guesses. So we're still gonna set up our parentheses. We've gotta consider factors of four. So those are gonna be four and one and two and two. And the last term here is the three, so that has to be a three and a one. Now I've gotta find some combination of these that's gonna add up to eight when I check my inner and outer terms. So you may wanna do this in pencil and have your eraser handy because you might guess incorrectly and need to change. Um, so we know the first number is gonna be one of these, the four and the one or the two and the two. And the last number is gonna be the three and the one. So let's say I chose two and two. If I put a two here and a two here, I would have two X and two X. And let's say I put the three and the one. Well, let's check and see. My inner term is six X. My outer term is two X. And those just happen to add up to eight X. So I looked out on this one and I guessed correctly. 2x plus three and 2x plus one. If your first guess is not correct, you just erase it and try another. Then switch the numbers around, try a different combination. But we have to account for the first term, the four, which was two times two, and the last term, which was three times one. And you always check your inner and outer to make sure it equals the middle. Let's try the next one. 2x squared plus 11x plus 9. Well, 2x squared is pretty easy because there's only one way to get 2x squared, and that's 2x and x. And because this is plus plus, I have the signs the same as the last worksheet just for practice. So plus plus, I know they're both going to be positives. 9 is either 9 times 1 or 3 times 3. So I've got to figure out how to get an 11 out of this. Well, let's try. If I put the three in the three, I get three X and six X. Well, that doesn't add up to 11. So let's try the nine and the one. Okay, a nine and a one. Well, this gives me one X and that gives me 18 X. Uh, that didn't work either. But let's try switching the nine and the one. If I put a nine here and a one here, this is 9x, and that's 2x, which adds up to 11x. So that's my correct answer. So you think about your factors of the first number and the last number combined together to give you this inner and outer combination. So if you want to hit pause and try these other two with your plus plus, and then come back and check your answers. 2x squared is 2x times x. 10, I'm either gonna use 10 and one or five and two to come up with a nine. I think two times two is four and five times one is five. So four X plus five X equals nine X. And this one, when the front number is prime, that makes your choices easier. You didn't have two choices like we did at first. We just have the one, five X and X. Now the seven, if I put a seven here, that's 35, that's never gonna work. So I'm gonna put the seven here and the one here and double check this. Seven X plus five X equals 12 X. So we're good. In the next column, we have our signs. The third number, the constant is a positive but this number in the middle is a negative. So I know that all of these are negative times a negative is a positive and a negative plus a negative is a negative. So we're gonna apply this same concept. 2x squared must be 2x and x. Seven has gotta be seven times one. I just have to figure out where to put the seven and where to put the one. I'm gonna try it this way. Negative seven plus negative two is negative nine. 
oh, this one looks pretty easy. There's no number in front of the x squared, so we're just going to go with x times x and factors that, of, that multiply to positive 15 and add up to negative 8 would be negative 5 and negative 3. 4x squared minus 11x plus 6. Well, 4x squared is 4 times 1 or 2 times 2. 6 is 6 times 1 or 3 times 2. So I'm looking for a combo that's going to give me an 11. Let's see. What can we come up with? Let's see. 2 times 6 is 12. 2 times 1 is 2. That didn't work. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. And 2. Oh, 4 times 2 is 8. And 3 times 1 is 3. So I need 4 times 2 to give me negative 8x and then negative 3 times 1 to give me negative 3x. That adds up to negative 11. If you want to pause and try this last one and then check your answer. 8x squared has to be this and 5 has to be that. I'm trying to get a 14. So let's see. 20 and 2, that's not 14. 10 and 4, we have a winner. So this is 4x and 2x. Now I have to place the 5 and the 1 correctly. I wanted a 10x and a 4x. So it must be 5 times 2 and it must be 4 times 1. All right, our last column this is the one where we've got to multiply to equal a negative, but add up to either a positive or a negative. So this is one of each, a negative and a positive, and we'll figure out where it goes. All right, 8x squared plus 10x minus 3. One of the little shortcuts to this, you can multiply 8 times negative 3 and get negative 24. And if you think of any factors of negative 24 that might add up to 10, those can help you find your inner and outer terms. So if I'm trying to get a negative 24, I might think, hey, 12 times negative 2. So if I could get a 12x and a negative 2x, those would add up to 10x. And that's going to help me choose, do I want to use 8 times 1 or do I want to use 4 times 2? Well, if I use an 8, there's nothing I can multiply times 8 and get 12. So that's out. So 4x and 2x. And now I just have to place my 3 and 1 in the right spots to get a 12 and a 2. So 4x times 3 and then 2x times 1. Now, I did something wrong. The 12x had to be positive. So there we go. Positive 12x, negative 2x. Your inner and outer have to match the middle. Your first have to multiply to give you the first. Your last have to multiply to give you the last. Try these three and come back and check your answers. Since 3 is prime, I know it's 3x and x. 14 is either 14 times 1 or 7 times 2. I think I'm going to try 7 and 2 because I can make this one negative 7x and this one positive 6x and they add up to negative 1. If you put your numbers in and you have the right number but the wrong sign, you just flip which one was the positive and which one was the negative. Here we go, 7x squared plus 18x minus 9. Well, I know 7x squared is 7x. 9 is either 9 times 1 or 3 times 3. So let's look at this one. 7 times 3 is 21, and then 1 times 3 is 3. That could give me an 18. If I have a positive 21 
and a negative 3. Those add up to 18. Last one. 4x squared. Well, that's either 4 times 1 or 2 times 2. 10 is either 10 times 1 or 5 times 2. We need some combination that will give us a 3. So let's try. Well, let's do this one. 4 times 10 is 40. 1 times 1 is 1. That didn't work. So switch them. 4 times 1 is 4. 1 times 10 is 10. That didn't work either because that's that'll give me a 6. Let's try the 5 and the 2. 4 times 5 is 20. 2 times 1 is 2. No. 4 times 2 is 8. 1 times 5 is 5. 8 and 5 will add up to 3 if I do them correctly. So 4x squared becomes 4x times x. I want to get an 8x and a 5x. So 4 times 2 is going to give me positive 8. x times negative 5 will give me the negative 5x. Factoring takes a lot of practice, so go to your practice sheet and see if you can master this skill.